coming up, to a challenge coming up. There is the appearance of the challenge, whether mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, social, whatever the challenge may be, on whatever level it poses itself to your consciousness, there is that, the appearance, the seemingly objective appearance of something inside of consciousness that triggers you. The second layer is in what way it triggers you. What is your definition, your belief, your interpretation of the appearance? That's the second level. There's the appearance, which is by no means separate or more powerful or actually objective, but I, maybe we'll get to that in a bit. But so there's the appearance and your response to the appearance. So in this case, when you say, where do I put fear and anxiety or anger? That is up to you. That's to the level, the second level of response because every emotion is essentially neutral, just like everything in life is essentially neutral. So where you place that, you can either place it in bliss or depression. When you respond, and that's what I meant when I said on the depression side is where you should place that. When you respond as fear, anxiety, or anger, you are becoming the low end frequency of your emotional body spectrum. Does that make sense? But when the fear is just like an initial thing that gets triggered by something that happens before you're even aware of it, and then it's there as an appearance, then how you choose to respond to that, and in a sense, you've already responded to it based on how you believe things work or what you believe about the appearance. So let's say fear, all right, well, we've already dealt with that a little bit. Let's say anger arises, anger arises. It comes from a belief you have about something in life. You believe something works a certain way and now something appeared that conflicted with your belief that things have to look a certain way in order for it to be abundant and flowy and happy and good because you have a belief that certain things imply lack. Very simple, right? Again, every emotional discrepancy comes from believing there's lack. It's very simple. Human suffering solved just like that. You're welcome. And so anger arises. How do you respond to that? First of all, hold the space, right? You just, ah, okay, wait a second. This is a moment of attention. Excellent, epic. And this is an opportunity for me to resolve, to transform, to move around my beliefs a little bit, to become more aware of what I believe, what I hold on to that keeps generating my reality on all levels of my expression as a consciousness. Do I want to be led by these unconscious beliefs? Do I still want that? No, so epic moment, you're triggered, epic, right? Amazing. So treat it as such. That's the first response to anything that comes up as a catalyst, as a challenge. It should be seen not as, oh fuck, there's this thing again. It should be seen as epic. This thing arises. I'm triggered. Beautiful. Let me see what this is all about because what I want to be is more of myself, more of my true self, more connected. And I want that to be allowed to manifest energetically on all levels of my expression as a consciousness. No, is that not why you are here? to become a clear channel of freedom, unity, bliss, abundance, joy, love, etc. right? That's why you're here, right? Today in this meeting, as well as on this earthly plane, no? Good. So since that's your intention already, why would it not be epic if fear arises? How could it not be good? It shows you what you believe is true about life that's out of alignment with your higher self's vision for you. And therefore you have a chance to resolve it. So treat it with gratitude welcome it into your existence, into your consciousness, so that you can remain as conscious with it as you can, rather than, oh, no, and another unconscious belief about the unconscious belief that triggered the fear coming up and then covering it, and then another unconscious belief, oh, let me just go here and do something else because I don't like that feeling. And then you're again in the thought stream of being an imbecile. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No judgment. It's not a judgment. It is whatever it is for you. You see, I can use the word imbecile and refer to all of you. I can refer to myself too. That would be this overly generous thing. Oh, look, he's also pointing to himself. No, let's say all of you are imbeciles for a moment, just a moment. What does that trigger? What does that trigger? If anything, for some of you, maybe nothing. Others are, oh, he's being a little rough. Or, uh. <laughs> but see your responses to anything that arises. This is an appearance. Me calling you a seemingly judgmental, non-loving thing. Oh, well, he must not be enlightened. Oh, well, it must not be all conditional love, unconditional love. Or this is a negative thing. Why would he say something like that? This hurts me. Just witness your responses and apply this to everyday life. The word imbecile is absolutely meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. You can write it there. You can write it on your face. You can write it on a jar with water and see how the molecular structure changes. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It is whatever energy you give it. Mm -hmm. 
Again, if that's your passion, that's true for you. I'm not judging it. I'm just making fun of it. See that any word, any trigger, any response, whether it's a word somebody else calls you, you're living your passion and everyone calls you stupid or whatever. Worse things you can imagine that are not actually worse, as you now know. But things that you imagine as worse. Oh, if I'd be center stage because I'm living my joy in this way, what will my family think? How will they call me in their minds? And see that those words are all neutral events. Does the letter I mean anything? Does the letter M mean anything? Does the letter B mean anything? E, C, I, L, E, I think. No, and why when you put them together, suddenly it's so powerful. Oh my God, I am actually an imbecile. How dare you? There is no inherent energy in anything, whether positive or negative. Everything is neutral and meaningless and empty, but that's a great gift. That's where you come in. That's where you exist as an individualized point of the I am, the all that is I am this. So that you can create a pathway that is unique throughout all this infinite potential of endlessly meaningless appearances. You can shape a path of meaning or inspiration or purpose or freedom or joy. So when the fear or the anger arises, it's neither bliss nor depression yet. That is up to your response. If you respond with, this is epic, then the fear or the anxiety or the anger is experienced blissfully so. Because your frequency as a responsive vibrational attitude creature of consciousness is epic. So what you experience is epicness, regardless of the appearance. When your response is, oh, wait a second, fear coming up means I'm not there yet, means I have to go to Bentinho's meeting again, <laughs> review, blah, blah, blah means I've lost what I've previously covered. I mean, my down again. Oh my God. If that's what it means to you, then what you are doing to yourself is you are lowering your frequency because you're becoming a skeptic. You're becoming depressed. You're becoming, hmm. you are becoming that the appearance has nothing to do with you.